Folks, I'm here tonight to uh, kind of do an update to a tutorial I've done in the past. And, and it, but there's something very odd here. So I'm hoping maybe that even though I've used Premiere Pro for many, many, many years, I guess all the way back since G1990, well, it wasn't Premiere Pro then, back in uh, 1997, I guess, when I started using it, I have not done a whole lot of image sequences. And so recently, um, uh, this, this is a, a video about a... Um, I guess a video that I've done in the past showing how to do uh, time lapse using photos from um, from a GoPro Hero 3, an image sequence. And someone recently put a comment, and, and I thought it was a very good comment. And of course, I know I've known for a long time you can do image sequences by pulling images in over here and to create your sequence and everything. And I've, so I've got a pretty popular video on YouTube showing how I do it. But this is the reason that this person said, Tony, why don't you just import these images in image sequence? Let's try this and see. So this is interesting. I'm going to just do a little, little click here. And what I've done, I recorded these uh, images of my garden with the snow. I was kind of hoping, this was probably about, I don't know, an hour and 45 minutes. I was hoping I could kind of see the snow melt a little bit, even though the sun was going down. But so what I've got here, here you can see me in a little bit of this one. I've got a whole bunch of images. I click on this. And you'll see here that these images are, well, there you go. You can see it's a 4,000 by 3,000 pixels. So we've got a 4K image here. And all of these are. Now, ordinarily, if you're going to do an image sequence, you're going to import it into Premiere. You do just what I just did. You double click. I'm going to do this again. You double click in this window over here, or you'd say, uh, what, file, new, sequence, right? Or, you, well, really, you just imp what you do first, you import your images. So you do file, import, right? Uh, where is it? I so seldom do it this way that I, I very seldom do this. I usually just double click inside this window and the same thing. And down here at the bottom, you got this image sequence thing, right? Well, check this out. If I click one image, then it lets me click image sequence. Let me try holding down two. Now look at that. It grade, grade that out, right? So, okay, now, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say, I'm going to click on this one maybe and say image sequence. And this person told me that if I did, did it this way, let me pull this up here and see it, that it would import all this as an image sequence. Well, I'm gonna say, okay, open. And it looks like it just brought one file in, right? Unless that is a, is that a video? 44, maybe it is. And am I bad, folks? I may have been getting this wrong the whole time. So let's do this, let's do a new sequence. And we know this is a very big piece of video, this is 4K, but I'm still gonna do it in 1080p. Let's just go ahead and say, okay, and we'll call this our garden time lapse. Ah, crap. Garden, garden time lapse, and so I guess the person that sent me this tip is right. Maybe I just misunderstood what I was getting. It did turn into a piece of video, didn't it? I guess what I probably had done and, and thought I was doing wrong the whole time was I was thinking this being an image, but that looks like video, right? So it has pulled in all of those images that were in that folder, and I did not realize it. It's been so long since I've done one of these. Let's pull it down here on the seek on the timeline. And it's saying change sequence settings. I'm going to keep the, I know it's going to try to turn into 4K, but let's keep existing settings. And so now we can see that it looks like I've got a big long J, look at that, but it's a JPEG that shows a time lapse. So the, the fella, I'm going to put his uh, name on here. Great, great job showing me this and, and reminding me that this could be done. I, all you have to really do then is not what I have done before, which is, uh, bring everything in as one second or, or one frame each the videos you can bring it in like that and and it brings in here it's bright brought in this 2997 uh, let's, 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 let's look what looks like what it's done now this begs to question could you bring it in at a different frame rate I don't know but it did by default bring in 2997 which is just fine for this kind of time lapse we're doing of course that this video is much larger than this Let's click on this and let's go up here to uh, to effects control where motion is here and spin it down. We should be able to spin it down to about 50%. Let's do this 50. And that probably is the, you see, there you go. That is my uh, garden. And I actually have some extra pixels at the bottom. If I want to pull it up more like that, see my footprints more, I can do that. Or if I want to see more sky, that's fine too. So it looks like here I have a nice time lapse of, uh, of my garden here that we've pulled in just by clicking there and on that first image. 
Okay, I want it to be a time lapse, or, or not a time lapse, but let's just go through the whole thing again and see what we did. We could just double click here, click on this one, and it pull it in as image sequence, and it pulls from this one. Now, what I've done, this is there's nothing but images in this folder. So uh, thanks to the subscriber, and, and I'll give you credit here. I'll put your name on here. Thank you so much for reminding me this could be done. I guess what I'd done in the past, and the reason I haven't done this, is because I didn't realize you just click on this one, and you bring it in as an image sequence. I probably tried to do this and do a control A and select everything and realize, oh crap, I can't bring that in. But all you have to do is click that one and it's gonna pull the whole thing in as an image sequence if you click that. So I'm gonna say cancel because we've already done it. And I'm gonna render this image sequence out and it looks pretty cool right there. That's my 4K. And uh, I'm gonna see if I can tell any snow has, uh, has uh, melted there. I guess if I look on the blocks, I could see it might have receded a little bit, but I can't really tell. It was a very warm day after a big snow storm of a few days ago. So there we go. A, a much easier way than I remember it being to do an image sequence in Premiere Pro. And um, once again, for those of you who, who don't, you know, they know that you can do that. I will show you that you can change size. I don't like this one frame of my chin here, my chinny chin there. So let's just go ahead and pull that frame out. So in other words, if we wanted to zoom in or out with that, we could start this sequence. That's kind of a cool thing I like to do. I like to maybe zoom out on this. So uh, I'm going to go back up and click on it and go into effects control. I think I'm going to, we see we can go down to 48, but I'm going to probably go to, uh, let's say, let's make this thing 75%. So we can start with this. I'm going to render this out. We'll go just a second or two in pull out, right? Let's go to 48. So we got this kind of thing going on now. We should. Uh oh, I didn't put a I didn't put a keyframe in. Let's click our scale. We're going to start here, and we're going to click the keyframe. Now we're going to tell it to be 75. Okay, and then we're going to go to here, and we'll tell it to be 48. And so now we got our little zoom out, and it's not going to render that very well in real time, as you can see. Okay, so that's a lot of pixels and stuff there. You can really see the clouds and stuff moving. I did this time lapse at uh, one picture every five seconds. This is one photo every five seconds. It really is doing a pretty decent job rendering it out there. But I'll render the whole thing out and just tag it on to the end of this video so we can see how it looks. All right, so good show. Uh, I'm trying to remember. The, let's do it right now so we can find ah. Let's see if we can find the name of the subscriber that gave me the really cool tip here. So I did go back and see who it was that gave me the tip. And a very big thanks to Patrick McAneely. Patrick McAneely. Great job, Patrick. You're the one that told me. If you check the image sequence box when you import and just select the first image, Premiere will bring in a video clip instead of hundreds of individual photos. Then you can apply your effects to the video clip, and you don't have to deal with applying all those one-frame images. Awesome. Thank you so much, Patrick. You're, uh, you're a killer for sharing that with us. Very much appreciate it. And so we'll render this out and tag it on the end of this video. Mm -hmm.